This is Wendy Daniels with Revolutionary PE, and this is Volleyball Drills and Lead Up Games. On the set, we talk to students when they're little about, we go into the refrigerator and we might grab the large jug of milk, and sometimes we sneak a drink from the jug of milk. And so we look through our hands, and that's our set position. So our fingers are spread out, we bend our knees, and then we push up. For our first drill, we're gonna be setting at the net. And what's important is for you to toss the ball to your partner. So coach is going to toss the ball to me three times, and I'm gonna set it, and she's gonna try to catch it. So it's fun for her too, but she's not hitting it. And then I toss it to her three times. So I get ready. Am I ready like this? All right. Am I ready? No. I have to put my hands up. And she tosses it. And I set. And, oh, I set. And set. And now it's her turn. So then she gives me the ball. And is this a good toss? No. How about this? Is that a good toss? No. I'm trying to get it up above her. It wouldn't be fair to her if I did that. So I hold it with both hands. I bend my knees, put one foot forward, and I toss it. Oh, nice. And I toss it. Good job, coach. And then I toss it again. Oh, that's okay. But now the next two people would go because she got three turns and I got three turns. It doesn't matter if we made it or not. It just means if we try. Show you how to do a bump. On a bump, we put our arm out straight and we make a fist and kind of like pretending it's our soda can. We don't drink soda very often, but this is our soda can. Then we take our other hand and we wrap it around the outside like our koozie to keep it cold. And we put our thumbs side by side. What we don't want to do is cross our thumbs because it makes the ball go crazy. And we don't want to lock our fingers. We lock our elbows. That means my elbows don't bend. So I make my fist. Make your fist with me. Take your hand, wrap it around the outside, and then we would bend our knees and we would hit the ball. Look at my arms. They stay straight and I hit here. I don't do this. If I bend my elbows, the ball could go behind me or up, not over the net. And I don't do this because the ball will go that way or up. I want to hit the ball here, and look how my arms are at an angle, so when the ball hits it, it goes up and over the net. So stand up and do this with me. Make a fist. Your arm is straight. Wrap your koozie around the outside. Put your thumbs side by side. One of the things that's hard for kinder and first is even just tossing the ball over the net. So I want you to look at coach. She's holding it with two hands. She's on her dot. And look, I'm not way up here at the net. I'm back on my dot and I'm ready. Am I ready if I'm like this? No, I get my hands ready. And then coach tosses me the ball and I bump. And I'm trying to get it over. So then, bump. And then it's okay if I miss. Oh, that's all right. It's your turn anyway now. So that was three. Now it's coach's turn. Is that a good toss? No. I hold it on both sides. I bend my knees and I toss it to her in front. And then I catch it. This is fun for me too. Wow, that was awesome, coach. Look how it goes up. We want it to go up and over the net. All right, then the next two people will go. How many turns do you get? Three. Three tosses. 
So now that we've learned a set, if a ball is high in the air, we set it. If it's lower, we bump it. So we're going to try to keep the ball going and you're going to count. So I start by tossing the ball to coach. She set, I bump, set, set, set. Count for us. Oh, I need a teammate. All right, good game, coach. So you only get two chances. So it hit the floor. We have one more chance. So now I toss it to her. Oh, and if it hits the floor, our turn is over. And it's the next two people. Please stand up. Come out. It's the next two people. Elementary school in general, we do the underhand serve um, because students have such a hard time even just making contact with the ball. So that's our main focus. If uh, fourth and fifth grade girls a lot of times are on volleyball, we do allow them to practice their overhand serve. But we don't really stress that. Um, what we stress is that they make a T with their hand and spread out their fingers and that they hold the ball low and they're able to uh, keep that ball stationary and that they close their fingers, close their thumb on the side and that with the heel of their hand, they're going to impact the ball and that they're gonna lock this elbow so they have this powerful swing. So for kindergarten, we're just working on making contact. When we get into first and second grade, we're trying to shift our weight from our back foot to our front foot when we make contact. And then when we get into third, fourth, and fifth grade, we're talking about the power of forcing our hips forward and our weight forward into the ball. So we face the wall for our drill. We pretend this net, this yellow line is our volleyball net, so I'm aiming to get over it. And then I line up my shot, I lock my elbow, I step and hit. And I do, we do two serves to the wall, and then it's the next person's turn. And we're teaching them to serve. We teach them to spread out their fingers like a T and to hold it low. And with their other hand, they close their fingers, put their thumb at the side, and we have everybody do it. And they're going to lock their elbow and they're swinging their arm next to their body and their weight should transfer from their back foot to their forward foot. Hold it low, lock your elbow, swing, weight shifts forward along with your hips. Great, and they're trying to serve over the top yellow line. We pretend that's the net. So then the next person comes up, hold it a little lower. Great, and lock your elbow, swing and shift your weight forward. Ready? Fantastic, nice serve. This drill is called a line drill. So one person is tossing high and everyone is going to set the ball above their head. So we say that we're looking through our hands, we're pushing, bend your knees, one foot slightly forward. So the person tossing does an underhand toss above their head. So they toss to each person and try to catch it. And set, nice. And toss to the next person and set. Good, remember, that's okay. Good, and then they would switch. So now, if you would switch places, so Bert, you're tossing, and then he'll go, they'll go through the line again, and they do this for a allotted time with the music. So, all right, this time though, I want you to do the bump. So the forearm pass, so we're going to, they have a choice, of either making their soda hand. We don't interlock our fingers though. They can either do two open hands on top of each other or and put your thumbs together or you put one fist, wrap your other hand around. And we toss it and we're gonna try to bump it like we're going over the net. That's okay, try another toss. You could come a little closer to her if you need to, good. Great, okay, and then he tosses to the next person. Everybody's ready, 
Bend your knees, get under the ball. That was nice. Step one step in front. Yes, good job. And then they would rotate again. So then the next person would come out to toss. After we warm up at the wall, doing our um, serving and then our line drills, the big kids come to the net. And what we do is we have uh, them line up behind a dot, half on this side, and then half the color teams are on this side. So green, so green is playing red. So gr the first player comes up to, is going to serve over the net, and the next player is going to try to um, either bump or set the ball back. Louise, can you ready? Okay, hands ready. Good, all right, and then Louise would serve over the net, so she comes back, and then her partner would try to return the ball. So they're trying to control where they serve, and they're trying to return it and keep going. Great job, then the next two people would go. For the older kids, we would raise the net, so we just, this is what it would look like for kinder, and then for first, and then we raise it all the way for our third through fifth grade. So this time, we're going to show you a small game. So if they would come into the court, this game I liked is called Newcomb. In Newcomb, so if you'd spread to the net a little bit there and pretend you're a full team. Now, awesome. In Newcomb, the nice thing about it is you are allowed to catch the ball, but then you have to toss it to your partner and they have to hit it over the net. And your team can only touch it how many times before it goes over the net? Three times. All right, let's show them how to play Newcomb. So one player serves, it does, and they can take turns serving. It doesn't matter position. And so they got a point. So Louise would get the serve again, so we roll it under the net. She gets two serves, and then it would go to Tucker. Ready? Serve, and it's okay to catch it, but you can toss it to someone else, and they have to hit it over. Good, and it's great. Oh, their point. So now Tucker serves. So he serves the ball. If you want to just return it, you can, or you could catch it. Good. Oh, that's all right. So now that means the other team won the serve. Rebecca, would you like to serve it? Or you can give it to anyone else on your team. All right. So they serve the ball. And remember, you, it's okay to catch it, but if it touches the ground, it's their point. And then it goes under. She gets two serves. Good. All right. And then you toss it to your partner. And who has to hit it over? Oh, that's okay. We're learning. This is just fun. So now someone else needs to serve on your team. Good. Oh, that's all right. What we do is we set up three rows of dots for the students. When you're facing the net, the first dot for the server is one. So we tell the kids that... They rotate to the back, to the left, to the left, to the left. And then when we get to the middle, we rotate forward and to the right, to the right, to the right. And when we get all the way to the right, we can't go any further. So we have to go diagonal to the front. So now I'm in the front and then I go to the right, to the right again. We ask them to pay attention to the dot that they're on Right now I'm on dot 12, so then I know that the next dot I need to go to is 13. So when I get all the way to 15 at this position, there's no more numbers, so that puts me as the server. I get to rotate back to server. So the right side of the net, these three people have the biggest change because I am the server and then I go that way. If I'm here, I have to go diagonal to the front. And if my position is here, then I'm the next server. So we do practice with the kids um, when you start in second grade and then during Newcomb. 
And then with fourth and fifth grade, third, fourth, and fifth grade, we're playing Newcomb and volleyball. So when we rotate, uh, we always rotate when someone wins the serve. And our scoring is not rally points. We actually um, do our scoring where if they were at a resort or playing with other people where you only score when you're serving. Okay, we are playing Newcomb and I have a small group to demonstrate for you. We follow the rotation, so there are 15 dots, so we usually have 30 players per court. We have to have three courts, one outside and two inside the gym. Your team can only touch the ball three times and then it has to go over, no double touching. If it touches the ground on the other side, you win the point. EE class, we only allow a server to serve two times and then we rotate so there can be a new server, so there are more opportunities to serve. All right, ready, service. They serve, oh, they get the point. Roll it under the net, so in the front they move to the right, the middle they move to the right, on the back row they move to the left. Ready, service. Oh, and it's in. The pole, the volleyball standard is the out of bounds, so she gets a second serve. Now, our girls that play volleyball, if they are more comfortable with the overhand serve, it's okay to do that, or you can do underhand, whichever, what we've been practicing, whatever's comfortable. And force it forward, so your power from your hips, step into it. Ready? Good, that was better. Nice. Way to keep playing it. I love this volley. All right, their point. Good job, everybody. For a full year of lesson plans and games like this, get lesson plans for elementary PE on Amazon now.